does increasing your testosterone through testosterone replacement therapy or TRT increase your risk of hair loss? So we know that DHT, the hormone that testosterone converts to, definitely causes hair loss. But what about testosterone? One thing I wanna clear up right off the bat is that testosterone itself does not cause hair loss in men. Interestingly, it actually promotes hair growth in women. The important thing to know is that increasing testosterone levels in men, for example, through TRT, will result in more testosterone, obviously. That excess testosterone will then be converted to DHT, resulting in more DHT. And if the individual is sensitive to DHT and there's more DHT, well, then that could increase your risk of hair loss. This suggests that if you are not on TRT and you're already experiencing hair loss, let's say at a young age, indicating that you are quite sensitive to DHT, then starting TRT will very likely increase your DHT levels. And because you're sensitive in the first place, you will very likely increase your speed of hair loss. But if you're not sensitive to DHT, for example, you're an older gentleman who has experienced very little hair loss or no hair loss at all, then increasing your testosterone and increasing your DHT, you can increase your DHT as much as you want. If you're not sensitive to it, then your hair follicles will not respond and will not be destroyed by it. So you're absolutely in the clear. The question I get all the time in response to this is can't we just take a 5-alpha reductase blocker like finasteride or dutasteride to just block that excess conversion of testosterone to DHT? Well, I like to think of 5-alpha reductase enzymes as Spider-Man slowing down the train to save all the people on it. Where the train is your hair loss progressing and progressing um, and if it falls off the cliff or falls off the, uh, the edge of the train tracks, um, that is, uh, for example, being fully bold, where Spider-Man is your 5-alpha reductase blocker. So um, finasteride, for example, is already doing a lot of work slowing down your hair loss if you are quite sensitive to DHT. But when you introduce TRT and you increase the conversion of testosterone to DHT because you're introducing a whole load of testosterone, then there's more demand being put on your finasteride. And so it's under more strain and it won't be able to inhibit as much conversion and therefore you still will increase your DHT levels. That's if you use the same dose of your 5-alpha reductase blocker before and after you start TRT. However, what if we increase our 5-alpha reductase dose or we switch from finasteride to dutasteride for example? Well, in this scenario, this would help with mitigating that increased conversion of testosterone to DHT, but it comes with its own issues. You are using more drug, you are using a more potent drug, you are increasing your risk of side effects in that regard. And some people have actually countered that argument and stated that the higher levels of testosterone, since testosterone is a sex hormone, will be enough to counteract the effects of the um, reduced DHT from the higher dose of 5-alpha reductase um, blocker that we've now started. Um, and so you'll not get any side effects, you'll not get any sexual side effects. But, and I am a very firm believer in this, um, in my opinion, DHT has its own sexual function elements. So just by increasing your testosterone, I do not believe you will get the um, uh, sexual functions that DHT within normal levels provides. So I hope that answers it. Uh, the bottom line is that if you are already losing hair, if you're very sensitive to DHT, then starting TA TRT may not be the best um, thing to do. But if you haven't lost any hair and you're an old guy, you know, and you are looking to replace your testosterone levels or restore them, then um, you're unlikely to have a big impact on your hair loss speed. See you guys in the next one.